have a look at the ST60 by ASG. Now this is a 400 horsepower car. It's got the LS1 in there. They've got rid of the standard engines, dropped in the LS1. It's just got the 4L6E gearbox and to mate it all up, they're just using one of the Marx adapters. Five inch snorkels on this, it's just to help it breathe. Obviously the standard snorkels just wouldn't let enough airflow, so they've gone to the five inch snorkel and to help all the gases get away out the back, they've got the custom twin exhaust that you heard at the start of the video. Underneath, it's just a two inch TJM lift, so pretty simple, but what the guys have done is they've gone and put the 79 series mounts in there so they could mount up the new pace system. It's improved the ride and handling of the car out of sight. It's really, really good addition to the vehicle. As with all the ASG bodywork, it's spot on. The side steps are just the standard ones they use with the 200 series. They've just modified the mounts to get them to suit, but like normal, protects their um, little cubby hole down there. But going up the side of the vehicle, the lines are just spot on. It really, really suits this vehicle. The 79 series backbone's been modified to fit, and then it's just got a 40 inch light bar stuck up underneath that as well. Aero specific though, I really like the guys have put the high mount pinch in there. It's a really, really nice touch and it just gives it a bit more of that authentic fur. On the back, the guys have got the two spares at the moment. It does have a box made for it, but it's just running the spares. And then it's one of the premium trays. Now this is the same tray I actually run on the MIDI, um, but you can get it for all the other conversions. And I think it actually works really, really well. It just ties the new and the old together really well. BF Goodrich rubber with a lot of their builds. Inside, this thing's pretty well unmolested. The dashboard is in really good nick. The only change the guys did was put the screen in. The custom seat covers, for those who follow ASG, you'll know what was is all about. All good in the back, and then they've put in the new hood lining. Just, yeah, looks amazing inside. Now, I know this isn't a vehicle for the purists. I know there's the guys out there who love their 60s who'd be hating to see this thing chopped, but if you like off-road, if you like old vehicles, you've got to admit that this has to be one of the best looking 62s you've seen on the road. The boys have done an amazing job. I certainly wouldn't mind parking it in my shed.